Peace. Today is Friday, November 2nd, making today's math. Wisdom. Wisdom is the wise words spoken by the wise one, which is you, which is I. Peace. Hey, yo, peace. Welcome back to the Anatomy and Godcast. I'm Lord Jamar. I'm your girl, Foxy Alex. That's right. We house. got my man. Fact check of rage. Uh-huh. My man, Alex, the motherfucking sound man. And my man, Harold, on the cameras right about now. Mm. Digger had to leave us. She was in the last, the first two segments, but she had to leave to do some flip mode um She's business. actually making history and because shit. Because lyrics matter. Yeah, because That's lyrics right. matter. They're in the studio oh. right now. Um, So, yeah, I guess she had to go get in the booth for something, get her one twos on. So, we love you, Digger. Love and you. And we're going to hold this last uh, section down without right. you. Uh, shout out to all my people that's in in the house with us on Shindig, asking your questions and popping up we appreciate you uh, if you'd like to uh, donate to the show go to cash.me slash dollar sign you're not a mean patreon.com slash you're not a mean or you're not a mean dot com slash support we appreciate each and every one of you like seriously some of y'all be donating like every week and i really really appreciate that shit anyway Word. moving on what are Oops. we talking about <laughs> cha ching cha ching ching ching. First of all, boobs got yelled out probably <laughs> at the beginning of every segment. So, do you have something look, you want to say? Look, do you have something that you'd like to discuss? It's fact checker to rest. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I'm not claiming responsibility. Because you call them boobs. Boobs? I call them titties. <laughs> fun, bags. fun bags. Fun bags. Fun bags are good. I call them boobs and titties. Titties. Well, now you got something bitties. new. Tig old bitties. Tig old bitties. <laughs> well, <laughs> so Don't come um, at me, girls. Just saying. So a few breaking type of news, but I guess it won't be so breaking when this comes out. But today there was some. What was going on? Like some, some suspicious packages or something was sent to different media outlets. Wow. And they feel it may be in response to. You know, your boy Trump, who's acting like he got a beef with the media. And, you know, since he got a lot of, like, he's got a beef mentally unstable type of following, you know, this could be some of his people doing his dirty work for him. What's going on? As a member of the media, I just have to say freely, because I can say so on the Godcast. I can't wait till they find this person. We know exactly who they going to be. Kanye? Hmm. Hmm. No, so unfortunately. Well. But They're going to yes. be melanin uh, deficient. deficient. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to be some this, melanin. And this seems like the work of a right. melanin deficient person. <laughs> Not only melanin deficient, tooth deficient, yeah. and probably in a middle state. Probably got a, a road map to his little yeah, sister's exactly. pussy in his back pocket. Right, exactly. <laughs> I mean, Everglades swamp. I mean, basically, and to his mama's pussy. Right, basically, it was just um, and and to be clear too, how mentally deficient these people might be. None of the actual packages, none of the actual bombs that they sent actually detonated, right? But out of an abundance of precaution, and given the fact that they were sent literally all over the country to almost every Democrat that has vocally expressed their anti-Trump, uh, you know, sentiments, especially given that the fact that we're in the, the, we're in the middle of the media circus and the middle of the midterm elections, or as some politicians like to call it, silly season. Mm. They were sent Why to the Why do they call home. it silly season? They call it silly season because people start to get silly, right? Politicians are silly. Think about it, right? They're silly. When silly season comes in, they will say and do anything in order to gain the vote or gain the popular vote or gain the polls. They will do anything for their, for their party 
I won't say Democratic Party, any party. They will do anything in order to gain the popular vote, in order to keep the power that they have. They will say and do anything. Silly season among politicians, right? They will do and say almost anything to keep the power. And that's how powerful the vote is. And that's why it's so meaningful and so important that people that are of our age, of our skin complexion and melon, mel what were we talking about? The melanin? The melanin the rich. melanin, right. Get out there and vote in this season. And this is exactly why. Well, we were speaking about this on last episode um, of the Godcast. And, you know, to me, these midterm elections are probably more, definitely more important than mm -hmm. the presidential election. Well, it's going to To me, these are the ones that actually matter. These are the ones that actually affect the lives of everyday people where the, where the voice of the people can actually be heard. You know, where you don't have to deal with shit like the Electoral College and all this. Well, it could yes, shift. there is gerrymandering and all that, like we talked about. But I feel like if you're going to fuck with politics, this is the level that you should be fucking yeah. Absolutely. with it. <clears throat> and the Panthers said all politics are local. Like the Black Absolutely. Panthers used to say that. Absolutely. And I also want to I want to shout out the father of law who had no problem working with Mayor Lindsay back in the days, you know, a politician, in mm -hmm. order to get um, certain resources mm -hmm. and, and uh, mm -hmm. that, that the youth needed. Yeah. You know what I mean? And he wasn't above working with a politician and inside that system in order to make things happen. And these are the organizations that you speak of that were started in order to empower ourselves to get that vote. Because that's what puts our people in positions of power. Isn't it interesting that we just segued into voting in politics from the quote unquote um, bomb scare? Well, so, yeah, but so so the the bomb. So the, how do you relate the two? Like, well, obviously it's clear, right, that these bombs were sent specifically to politicians and to media outlets that are outspoken anti-Trump. Uh, people right you're talking about cnn you're talking about they sent they tried to send send bombs to uh obama to the obamas uh to the clintons how come to, none of them pop to what happened See, that's, that's i'm concerned because i look at i believe in false flags mm, talk about it <clears throat> i believe in false flag operations mm -hmm, absolutely you know what i mean and there's definitely like a scare crisis season, mm -hmm. crisis go ahead yeah i mean I mean, I want to get all the facts on Absolutely. it, but I have to weigh that into consideration. But the fact is, is that these were sent all over the country. They, they, that yes, takes they a certain sent, amount of infrastructure. Sent, they, absolutely that does. That takes a lot of deliberation. And, and none of them pop. I don't get it. What's going to happen exactly? We don't get it. We don't get it. And that's what's going to happen. That's what the investigation is about, right? So me looking at it from the outside reporting on this is saying to me that this is clearly the work of somebody that is just trying to scare people. It's a scare tactic. Are you familiar with the Latin term qui bono? Who benefits? Who benefits? Exactly. That's who, I'm a, asking that's, you. That's, that's, I don't know who benefits. Well, here's Why the would, thing. Here's how the would thing. I know? I would, I would say that the people that benefit... Let me explain something to you. Who knows? Like... There's a lot of shit that we don't even realize is in place and certain things happen that need to happen that you don't even know. Like, for instance, right? Around the time of 9-11, right? 9-11 happens. This is a big, you know, national terroristic act or whatever the case may be right now in order to, in order for the patriot act oh. to get enacted around this time right oh boy they needed not just one big terroristic thing to happen 
but they needed two. So, if we remember, do you remember all the packages of anthrax that were being sent around? Right. Yes. And some of these today that were sent had packages. They were not only pipe bombs, but, but listen, they also had envelopes of white let me, powder. Let me, let me finish what I'm saying. So, all these, all of a sudden, packages of anthrax getting sent here. We don't even understand what what happened with that right mm. and then all of a sudden it, it just stopped i mean you ain't never heard about a package Thank of anthrax you. sent to nowhere since then why because there was a certain law that was in place that said you needed like two threatening terrorist things to happen within a certain amount of time mm. in order to pass this fucking law Mm -hmm. In order for this Patriot Act to, to go into effect. Man, man. Okay? Mm -hmm. So we give you one false flag and then we give you another right on the heels of it in order to pass a fucking law. So what I'm saying is what happened, there could be a law in place mm -hmm. right now. This might have happened in order to extend Absolutely. maybe a Patriot Act because Patriot let's first of all Absolutely. your man Obama extended the Patriot Act so let's get off his fucking dick and act Church. like he this motherfucker was the greatest president in the world. he was the most charismatic president that we've ever had Church. but this motherfucker was not the greatest president he ain't do shit for black people and he did a lot of foul shit um, to continue the bullshit that these white people put into place but anyway um, so Something like this happening today, there could be a law that we don't even know about is what I'm saying. Absolutely. That this could help to either continue or maybe in state. Absolutely. You see what I'm saying? 100%. Like, like, like we, we don't even know. And how convenient it is that this also happens to happen around the time that we're beefing with Saudi Arabia Whoa. over a dead missing journalist mm. that has yet to be accounted Speak for. Speak on it. That has they try yet to say died in a fist fight? Right. <laughs> right. And Saudi Arabia, what? if we remember, was behind 9-11. Not Iraq. Saudi Arabia. But yet, who did we go to war with? Afghanistan. No, the mm. first place they bombed Afghanistan. was Afghanistan that Bombs day. Bombs over Baghdad. Okay. Um, so yeah, there's, I mean, there's, when it comes to the United States and mind you, the bomb that was sent to, or the pipe bomb that was sent to CNN headquarters in New York city happened to have been addressed to John Brennan, who is the former head of the CIA under the Trump administration. But why is something addressed to John Brennan being sent to CNN headquarters? There, I mean, there's questions that loom large over this entire thing, especially because it happens to come 13 days before the midterm election. Okay, listen, I want to move on because we don't have a lot of time left. And I wanted to touch on this fucking Mega Millions Ooh. that just fucking happened. Yeah, let's talk about maybe this okay. is a distraction from that. <laughs> let's talk about the fucking lottery, which... I was having a discussion with multiple people recently, and we've come to the determination that this whole lottery thing may be a fucking scam in its entirety. Even when they say that somebody wins. Like, let's keep it real. Dare I say I agree with Jamar? Wow. Which camera am I looking at? That's your Dare camera, I bro. say? Da, 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 da. <laughs> it's gonna zoom in on you. I agree shape. with Lord Jamar. Listen, like, okay, keep it real. How many of these winners do we ever really follow after they win? <laughs> How many? It's of them like they supposedly end up alive win five and, years, and now the they're just. We never hear from these motherfuckers again. Right. It's almost, what was that show with, uh, that movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger, what, The Running Man or some shit mm. like that, where they were claiming that some of the winners, but them motherfuckers was dead. Dead. They really right. was dead. They was killing these motherfuckers, but, but they was, was acting, acting like, like, oh, he won the shit. He's in paradise right now. No, look, case in point. What's, What's that, that show that comes on? He's on Lifetime or the TLC, TLC channel or one of the learning channels, one of them shit. 
the lottery ruined my life or the oh, lottery TLC. killed me. Now right? that's the that's the they, show to make you believe that they it's end real. Up committing suicide or something. But that's also the show that makes you believe, okay, Absolutely. well, there is a life after lottery. I'm saying the same way they yeah, have half of them end up committing suicide. Hang on, but the same way they have like fake everything, like fake crisis actors, fake, you know, school shootings, fake this and that. Why would they not have a fake lottery? Like, think about what the lottery does for people. Even it's if you don't make money. Even if you don't play. Hang on a second. Because I didn't play this fucking shit. But would I lie? Would I be lying if I didn't say that I didn't contemplate it for half a second and said, should I go down to the store and get me a ticket? What if I won all that money? What would I do with it? Right there, they got you. Mm -hmm. Once you start fantasizing about what the fuck you might would do with this money and that, uh, that is the shit that helps keep the matrix going as far as, especially if you're, if you're living a slave existence. Mm -hmm. If you're living a slave existence where you get up and you go to the slave, a.k.a. your J-O-B every fucking day and like you really hate this shit, but like... The lottery ticket is some shit that gives you hope. You see what I'm saying? Like, that's some shit that allows you to say, all right, I can make it another day. Because maybe one day, just maybe, I might fucking win the lottery or some shit like that. Like, it's just like the Greek games and all. Like, they need football and baseball and to, to, mm -hmm. to, to, to placate right. the people. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? You got to placate the people. But especially, don't, don't you question it even more when they build the jackpot to the level where it's every... I feel like every six months there's a jackpot where they're coming around and saying, oh, it's the biggest jackpot ever. I mean, you got rich niggas trying to get it. Like they said, they, they said Mayweather bought $2,000 worth of sure tickets. I'm sure he did. Like, but, 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 but here's the thing. Like, what if they were just taking this money and nobody was winning. First of all, it was supposed to be the lottery supposed to be for schools. Yes, yes, yes. I was wasn't exact, the lottery originally exactly. ding, to ding, kick ding, it up ding, money ding. for schools. So yep. how the fuck did we lose the music programs? Yep. The sports programs. Speak on it. In, in, uh, uh, well, maybe they are using this money for schools, Amen. just not in our schools. Amen. Because. Uh, where's the computers? Where's, where's the, the computer? where's the iPads in every fucking desk? Why is the state legislation fighting over money for the budget for first school of, systems, public school systems across all, the board? Why? Let's, let's let's talk about okay, hypothetically, let's just say that this is real, and I did win a billion dollars or whatever the case may be. <sighs> Half of that goes to Uncle Sam. First of all. If I choose the, the big payout, right, if I don't want to get the piece off for the rest of my life and I want the big payout, well, that big payout is going to be half of what the whole thing is in the first place. Then I get taxed on that money, half of that on some Uncle Sam. So out of a billion, I might walk away with 400 million. And I'm not I'm not mad at that. I'm just saying, where's the money first going? of all, they robbing all of that. And where's right. all that where's money, money going? going? What are y'all doing with that money? Not to mention that only 44 out of the 50 states actually have the mega millions. So there are people in states that don't even have the mega millions crossing borders just to play the game, right. just to buy tickets in other states because their state don't have the mega millions. Right. I just found out an interesting et etymology fact in terms of the name lottery. The word uh, in question here is locked. And Dutch lot means your fate. Like you're a lot in life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So right. It, so it says, the first recorded lotteries to offer tickets for sale with prizes in the form of money were held in low countries in the 15th century. Mm. Various towns held public lotteries to raise money for yep. town fortifications yep. and to help the poor. The yep. English word lottery is derived from the Dutch noun lot, meaning fate. Mm. 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 Dun, dun, so, dun, dun, so... Uh, a lot. <laughs> da, 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 da. Hmm. a lot. You're like your lot so in not, life. Right, your lot Quaking in life, conditions. and then you put a P on that, and that's your plot. So are we ever going to find okay, out? Okay, now a plot is where you're buried at. 
Right. But that begs the question, right? So this last big oh. jackpot was one point six billion right. dollars. And they how said, much money did they actually make to give that amount of money away? Wow. Right. Because they're not giving away everything that they make. They ain't giving away shit. And, and what I'm saying is with these gangsters, right? Mm. I, they ain't giving away shit. They ain't giving away is what shit. I'm saying. Like, I'm saying they're saying that this nigga won. We don't know Roscoe or whoever the fuck they say won this shit. It is so convenient. Nobody's following this nigga. Like, that is always some random country bumpkin on a rural road in on South a store Carolina that nobody really case. goes to right on a dirt road <laughs> wow. that now, got the one winning ticket what's what's to prevent them from killing this nigga and taking his paper what's to prevent because that's what a real gangster well, would do that's what they do what Some would prevent say? them from killing this nigga taking his paper and now putting it back into a fucking fund like like and a secret <laughs> a secret rich people's fund <laughs> Like, like, oh, you fucked up, my nigga. Like, oh, uh, don't worry about it. We're gonna, we're gonna let you tap into the fucking, to the mega millions money. I, but I thought that was for, man. Come on, you thought that was real? Like, this is what hey, you know. I'm telling you, the type of shit that exists in this fucking world, this sick world that we yeah. live in. You know, it's funny. A lot of social analysts they complain about the quote unquote rich one percent. They said that. The elite practice socialism amongst themselves mm. and capitalism against mm. the masses. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Socialism yeah. amongst themselves right. and capitalism amongst the masses yes. and make mm. socialism a dirty word mm. amongst the masses. Mm. When socialism, like, let's keep it real. What meanwhile, the fuck is wrong with Meanwhile, Jim Bob Joe sharing in the, the pie lottery, is going equality. Up, meanwhile, Jim Bob Joe that won the lottery on Country Road 15 or <laughs> in East Bubblefuck, really Kansas is going to end up dead in five years by suicide. Yeah, he's going to get a quadruple going, wide he, trailer. <laughs> <laughs> He don't even want a mansion. He, he want a gonna, quadruple he wide up, trailer. He's he gonna end up on the Discovery Channel on the lottery. You want a trailer as wide as ninety five? Some rims, candy. Both paint. lanes, north and south right. lane. He gonna get him a right. trailer as big as a and mother. End up killing himself in the next five years. Yo, on methamphetamines you know, right. or some right. shit like that. Some Come stereotypers, on. man. Hey, shit is real. It's out what here. happens. Real. You ain't never seen the lottery rule well, in listen, my life? Well, we, listen, we, 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 we're about to wrap it up right now. Um, as always, these are, you know, another great fucking, another great episode. Shout out to everybody that joined us on Shit Dig. Shout out to my man, Chris. Um, yeah, we're going to get this popping. I'm going to start interviewing people remotely on this Shit Dig platform because this is some shit right here. Mm -hmm. What you, you got something to say real quick? No, no, no. I'll tell you uh, after. Okay, Bye, that's guys. what's up. All right. Well, listen. <laughs> We appreciate you joining us. Um, once again, if you'd like to donate to the show, go to cash.me slash dollar sign, you know what I mean? Patreon.com slash you know what I mean? Or you know what I mean? Dot com slash support. We appreciate every dollar. So once again, I am Lord Jamal. Uh, I'm going to say peace for digger digger. Digger digger. And that is Foxy Alex. F O. Double X to the Y. Yeah, give them your Instagram. Come okay. on. F O. Double X to the Y. A L E X number one. And that's yeah. how we do it. And as always, peace. peace. Stand, divided we fall. Two fingers together, the real peace sign, y'all. Brand Nubian peace gear. 
hoodies, t-shirts, snapbacks, available at hoodchee.com. Get yours today.